What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of What's in the Box. This week, I ordered something from Big Bad Toy Store, and I cannot wait to open it up and show everyone. So without further ado, let's see what's inside the box. And what's in the box? Captain Blake from the classic John Carpenter film, The Fog. From NECA's 8-inch Ultimate Real Toys line, this is a retro figure. The figure features real tattered clothes, 30 points of articulation, a removable sword with scabbard, and my favorite feature, red light-up LED eyes, operated by two button batteries located in the back of the head in a resealable plastic clamshell case. All right, now I'm super excited, so let's open this guy up and see what he's all about. Uh, the first thing, got this awesome background. Uh, very cool art by someone named Devin. <laughs> uh, according to the back, this is done by this was done by Cavity Colors. So there's a. And then here's the back. If you want to pause here, you can read uh, what they say on the back here. And there's the credits down there if you want to pause. Alright, and now to the actual figure, the thing, the reason we bought it. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We got Captain Blake. Very, very cool details in the face. Cool clothes. Got really nice boots. I love this face. I This was one of the biggest things I had reservations about when this figure was first announced. Because in the film, you don't see his face. All you see is his whole silhouette just like this which is pretty darn accurate and then um you see i'm going to start taking out his sword and scabbard now and then you see uh a little bit of his cheeks which you can see right here in the film in the film you see exactly this much of them from the cheeks up around the nose and the cheeks there. And then the rest is just his glowing eyes. He had a real big piece for his uh, glowing eyes on his face. But because it was shot dark, you don't see it. You don't see his face very well. And then here's the sword. Goes inside the scabbard. Real easy. That's awesome. And then um, his outfit is really awesome. I love the splashes of like silt and a little bit of silver purple paint on there um one cool detail to really capture his uh the leprosy and the zombification and stuff is his arms they're all bandaged up and his hands they got a lot of purple on them to give that ghostly dark quality um same with the other arm too um now he's got some what appears to be denim denim jeans i don't know if they had those in the time that uh <laughs> that captain blake was supposed to have existed but who knows and then uh his boots are uh they're actually molded into the legs so they're all one piece until you get to the ankle that moves uh his whole body is like a purplish brown a dark brown uh, and his neck is even um, wrinkled up and a little decayed until you get to the opening of the of the shirt. Now, I like I said, I think they did a really good job. Uh, if I have a single complaint about this figure, it'll be the red glowing eyes. But it's also my favorite part because it just looks so cool. So, it comes with a plastic tab. Obviously, you got to take that out. And then, the switch is very, very small. You got to have some nails 
or something, a small screwdriver, or even use his sword maybe to open, to turn this thing on. And it worked. And that's what he looks like with his eyes on. I'll get you a bit of a close up there. I mm, just looks so evil. I love it. It's very, very, very cool effect. Um, would have been cool if they flashed like in the movies, but that's, you know, that's on the wish list. Can't get everything you want. And I also would have liked a big uh, gold cross that was in the movie too. But that's another wish list item. All right. So even out of the package, uh, he's got a little bit of stiffness to it, um, but there's not that much stiffness to work out. Uh, his head is on what seems like a ball joint. It tilts up a little bit. It tilts down not a whole lot. And it turns. Uh, his arms go up and down. His elbows on a single hinge. Uh, his shoulders can go out and up on both sides a little stiffness in there but that's just the newness um no ab crunch i don't think that's standard on uh on neca figures so he doesn't move he's his hands are they pivot and they go up and down and his left hand it has like a ghostly point to it almost just like his toony terrors version it also bends and twists and uh his knees are single single hinge his legs are on a double swivel hinge so they can go out to the side and uh back and forth and then um like I said earlier, his boots are part of the leg, so this is all one solid piece. And then you get to the boots, and they are they move up and down, and no side to side movement on that one. No rocking on that one. This is going to be audio only, take two. Stylistically, these NECA retro figures are in the same ballpark as Mego figures in relative size, the use of real clothing, and body build. But that is where the similarities end. The NECA figures are more solidly built with pegged joints, better articulation, and more detail overall, which is, you know, why they're more expensive. You're paying for a particular level of detail, and this is not a knock against Mego. They're, they're the first, you know what I mean? They're the first with this kind of figure, so they're allowed to be what they are. <laughs> and, um... Captain Blake was sculpted, clothed, and fabricated by Thomas Gwynn and Kyle Windricks under the design and direction of Randy Falk and Stefan Fulkins. John Wardell did the most excellent paint, and prototypes were by Truecast Studios, and the packaging was by Chris Longo. Thanks to these talented people, this figure looks creepy, cool, and is definitely worthy of adding to your collection. All right, well, that does it for this episode of What's in the Box. Thanks again for watching. Um, please tell your friends. Please hit that like, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell for the notifications. And uh, it'll let you know the next time a new episode comes out. And I can't wait to do another one. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.